Hey guys, welcome back! In our information age, uh, everyone has a platform to express their opinions. Well, I'm no exception and naturally I have my own take on things. And today I'm going to share the main principles I follow to keep myself in shape, as I promised. And these principles have been ingrained in me through a trial and error as a culmination of my knowledge and experience up to this point. We have to work with our experience, whatever it is. Uh, you can take it or leave it, it's entirely up to you. I would like to start with the reasons why people should even bother with staying in shape, losing weight, watching their diet and counting calories. But let's save that discussion for another time, because it's a fascinating and broad topic. Let's stay on track, okay? So, here are my important rules. The point number one. No harsh and drastic measures. You know, if you throw a frog straight into boiling water, it might jump out of the pot with a scream like, what the heck, and make a run for it. But if you gradually heat up the pot, Increasing the temperature bit by bit, the frog won't even notice when it gets cooked. Therefore, gradual progress yields the desired results. No diets, no obsessive weighing, no calorie counting, no starving, no carb cutting, no beating yourself up for your jaw in a piece of chocolate. No way. No punishing yourself with grueling workouts. Those are all mind games that don't lead to anything good. However, you can still let go of something that's genuinely unhealthy or unnecessary. For example, recently I switched from cow's milk to lactose-free milk and eventually to plant-based milk. But that does not mean I won't snack a piece of milk chocolate from my daughter or grab a regular cappuccino from the drive-thru when I'm rushing to drop her off at school. I strongly believe occasional slip-ups in our diet are totally fine. Overall, I just don't want to be stressed out, okay? I don't want to go crazy about something. I don't want to calculate everything, keep control of something. I don't even want to weight myself. In general, I want to eat anything and not get fat. However, I'm a reasonable adult and unlike a child, I understand that I can't have everything I want, especially if I'm not doing anything about it. The point number two, no stress. Easier said than done when it's all around us, it's all around us, but not inside. We can't change what's around us, but we can at least try to change what's inside. When I'm stressed, my body produces cortisol and I start craving food like crazy, uh, hoarding it like there is no tomorrow. If you are gonna write a negative comment, please stop yourself from doing so. When you write a negative comment, I'll delete it immediately, okay? You know, I'm so over with this. Obviously, people who are not tolerant of others bring evil into this world, I believe. So this is definitely not a chapter in my life. I have enough troubles of my own and the last thing I need is criticism from people I don't know. All of us need therapy, okay? So only positive vibes. The point number three. To shoot a couple of extra pounds, all I need is for the number of calories going into my mouth to be less than the number of calories I burn during my workout. At least approximately. That's it. That's it. Eat what you want, exercise how you want, but stick to this rule. The point number four. Uh, running is the best activity for me personally. It keeps all the muscles in shape and melts away fat, but unfortunately it can take a toll on the knees. 
I feel so bad about it. I feel angry. <laughs> the point number five. The closer it gets to nighttime, the less sweet and calorie packed my food becomes. Or sometimes I eat less altogether. That's because calories get stored without movement. The point number six. Drink water. When I stay hydrated throughout the day, I feel less hungry. This is a fact. The point number seven. Try to get enough sleep because, as we know, our bodies derive energy from the sun, food and sleep. The less we sleep, the more we need sunlight or food. Well, at this stage, all I'm trying to say is keep it smile, listen to your body and find what works best for you. It's all about balance and enjoying the journey. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll never miss an update. I appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next video. There is no need to click the dislike button, alright?